don't have mentors that show you only the good sides because hey behind those smiles don't always think somebody's being negative when they're telling you like the bad sides of something it's only to open up your mind and prepare you because people think that abroad is easy abroad is not easy people think that oh if i just land back up hey which i'm going to even film a video of the recent updates as to where i am moving back to nigeria what i intend to do when i move right from this video and you're watching me right now i am going to say congratulations i'm not congratulating you because i know it all but i'm congratulating you for being a part of this valuable conversation and this valuable video because i mean that's what we're about right we are about adding value all right i'm so happy that you clicked so let us do this together this video was highly inspired by my last video where i talked about us moving back to nigeria all right in quotes all right um that video um i think that i was a bit misunderstood and it's on me i take responsibility for it it's my fault because i forget that this is a growing family now why i think that it's my fault and why i'm taking the blame is that i assume that people have been following my journey and i think that people know me and what i stand for i have done an extensive video that i dedicated to people that discourage people from moving abroad if you get what i mean so i thought that a, or i expected that a lot of you would have that understanding first knowing that okay i am someone that likes to encourage people to move abroad especially at this time that unfortunately our country is you know not in or not at its best you know so um i got a bit misunderstood with the entire video that video was literally me sharing and highlighting the pros and the cons all right of being here this is not what this video is about this is not this is not just what this video is about all right i highlighted both and obviously like i expected people to just you know look at it and know which works for them because obviously the pros of living abroad outweighs the cons of living abroad if you ask me um so i'm here to have this very deep conversation before i talk about how we intend to move back to nigeria from the uk uh why is it that we do not like um we do not like the truth like we want people to keep lying to us and that is exactly why we have found ourselves where we are some of us all right we do not like people saying things for what they are and if you're that kind of person you're yeah, literally subscribed to the wrong channel because I'm that person that will always let you know. I don't know if you guys remember when I used to do travel videos and when I do restaurants, reviews and stuff like that, I will let you know the good sides and I'll let you know the bad sides. I'm not going to come and paint things to you. I'm not going to come and, you know, act like, oh my God, we just moved to the UK. Our lives are so perfect. Like, I can do that. I even mentioned in that video where... People will prepare you. We have access to funds. We have access to credit. People get to go to designer stores, buy things, and come and act like their lives are perfect just to prepare you. And that is unfortunately what a couple or, or a, some people like. All right, I'm not gonna do that. So um, this applies to abroad, and it applies to so many other parts of life for example i would say motherhood right motherhood is something that one has to be 100 percent prepared for how do you prepare for something you're well equipped you're well informed you are aware of everything that comes with motherhood i should probably do a video about motherhood and you know a lot of things like for example a friend of mine lost her sight because of this whole pregnancy thing i lost my memory <laughs> because of motherhood all right people lose parts of them but i mean is motherhood not beautiful if i come out here to tell you the things that i have lost or the things that women lose or the things that i, I had to go through to become a mom is you're going to think that i'm trying to say motherhood is bad you get what i mean but it's something that people i have a friend um i hope she's not watching but i'm not going to call her name she she actually had her own like being in this country she just came in and then she had a baby nobody could come and do omugo like nobody could come and look after her and her baby and it was her first time she knew nothing whatsoever about the struggles of breastfeeding because everybody comes out here to claim oh my god motherhood you know 
she did not know she was shocked <laughs> i have friends that have been shocked i have friends that have fallen into depression because out here people only come to show you what they want you to see and they always want you to see the good sides you have to be prepared so that is why i always appreciate youtubers i've said this before that youtubers save lives because we come out here to share our lives it looks dumb like what do i even want to gain from you what am i learning from you but as we're sharing our lives you're literally learning from our lives experiences as you watch if i come out here to try family planning or something and i share my experience you've learned something watching this video you're going to learn something same thing applies to marriage right people give single people the impression that oh my god marriage is perfect i have a problem with one particular youtuber here on youtube she is a christian youtuber but the thing i do not like about her channel is the fact that her marriage is so perfect like there is nothing anybody wants to tell her her marriage like how she portrays it she doesn't put that side like a lot of people do not put that do not talk about the fact that it is okay to have issues in your marriage and have and it's how you resolve it that matters you don't get to see people tell you how you know irritated they get by their partners at some point i mean we're all humans i'm sure my husband <laughs> sometimes he says like this girl shut up i talk too much my husband does not talk like that you know and he has his own parts too that i'm just like but it's just like part of the package i will not just come out here to just show you only you know, we're kissing oh my god my husband is so perfect i mean my husband is perfect don't even get me wrong however he is human <laughs> so he's imperfect i am human I'm, I'm not actually perfect i'm very terrible let me not even like let me never come and say oh i'm perfect but i'm human nah i'm very very terrible when people tell me oh my god your husband is lucky no I am lucky because I'm the terrible one, <laughs> all right? So people always would want people to come out here and lie to them. So now in that video, obviously like the pros, I first of all started by, oh, this is our first year, like after we've completed one year and these are the changes that we had to live with in that one year. So definitely it's not going to be all rosy. I came out here open. All right, I've gotten DMs from some of you condemning me. I don't really, really, I don't really care. You know, if you can't understand what I'm saying, I really, really don't care, but I still care. Cause that's why I'm, if I don't care, I will not be here, right? I don't know when YouTube I say, I don't care, but they come and talk about the thing. So yes, I don't care. It's not that deep. I can actually just say, uh, be in your thoughts. All right. Have you guys noticed something like looking at me? Are you not saying this case, something is missing. First of all, I'm under the weather. I am very sick. I have like a pile of, tissue paper because my nose has been running i've been i have been feverish i've not been able to do anything how i am filming this video i don't know but inside the weather that i was what did i do i cut my hair so no more than that i cut my hair i do not have a single wig i do not have any single plans if you call me for work now i don't know how i would go but because i was sick i just cut my hair let me open the window Sorry, I have a window right in front of me and I'm sweating. Yeah, so I had no plans. And this hair literally is my signature. This is my natural hair, by the way, for those that are new here. This right here is my natural hair. I cut this hair last year. And then when I was about to move to the UK, I, I fixed it back. Like they had to use like needle and thread to tack my hair back. And then now I have cut my hair again. I don't regret it yet. Honestly, I don't regret it yet. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, so after I did that video, I asked you, um, are we, when I was, I was trying to explain something, maybe it is, let me, maybe I shouldn't even blame people for misunderstanding me, to be honest. Maybe it is me. All right. I said something. I said a lot of us. And in that video, I said I was not speaking for myself alone. And I saw comments that made me know that, yes, I was not really speaking for myself alone, that I'm right. Yeah. I said a lot of us because no matter what it is this is a new world it is not your home for me oh, i even said in that video that i don't believe in the whole no place like home because as far as my husband and kids are here and this country treats me well actually i would call here home however no matter how i want to speak that english i am a stranger here this is not my land all right so i was trying to say that a lot of us including me we never really dreamt of ever leaving home home to live abroad and we are here out of necessity 
because there is literally no future i'm not going to sugarcoat things i'm sorry for now back home there is no future and because we have young children in our heads maybe we're wrong but in our heads or let me talk to myself in my head i need to give my children like a better platform better opportunities in a country that is more sane more organized than all of that yeah so we did not dream of moving abroad but because of necessity because it's we didn't feel safe Financially, we were not doing bad. I'm sure you guys know we we're okay basic. I'm not saying we we're rich, but we had like the basics of life We we had we lived in an estate that had like standby generator. So we never had issues with electricity or Bad roads all those things that some people have to deal with back home, right? So for us we lived in a duplex we We're good. My entire house is my kitchen in Nigeria, I mean that with not my entire house, but you know what I mean. So we're not doing bad. So it was not because of finances per se. However, it's still part of it because I mentioned that, you know, back home you do jobs. I know how many times I would supply. I used to run a food processing business at home, and I would not get paid. All right. So I talked about you know all these things, and it's just like oh no, I just want a more stable place where we can easily grow, and there are more opportunities, and that is why we're here. However. If things were slightly better back home, more secure, economy stable, they, they, and then there's a future, definitely a lot, I said a lot of us, I for one, I wouldn't be here. It does not mean that, oh, I am regretting being here or it's, I'm, I'm sad <laughs> being here or if I had my way, I would not be here. I would be here again. Like if Nigeria is where Nigeria is, I would still be here. I still am helping a lot of people that are in my circle to come here. Do you get what I mean? Like a lot of people you don't even want to know. So I am pro, oh, move abroad for now because of your children. It's not because of us. We were okay with Nigeria. Like if it's us, we'll be in Nigeria now. Do you understand? So that was what it was about. I just came to clear the air. I have done a video exclusively about this when people discourage people from moving abroad. So I'm not among those people. All right, I am the on the other side. I will encourage you to come. All right, so when I said we will pack our things and go back home, I was not saying we're packing our things tomorrow, though I am going to Nigeria within the next couple of months and I'm going to do a video dedicated to where I am moving back to Nigeria, what I intend to do when I move, right? You know, it has nothing to do with any of these, it has nothing to do with this. It is something that is very personal to me it's not personal it's public that's why i'm going to share it here but for now it's personal to me so definitely but when i was saying we're going to pack our things and go i mean that if nigeria gets better not like abroad though. it doesn't need to be like abroad just small small things in place definitely we will be very happy because you know it's our home and if we don't go and develop our home we think we want to be really like a way when we can actually put in resources into building our own nation no matter how we want to do it nigeria now our own people have suffered in nigeria i know but it's our own we cannot throw it away can we you know that's what i actually meant and i said that oh i do not like the weather so somebody like me i will spend my winters in nigeria and my summers it just means that i'm going to have like two homes like two countries basically dual citizenship basically that's what i meant all right i hope this clears the air i don't know what to title this video but basically i'm just filming this to encourage you to be open-minded and that don't always think somebody's being negative when they're telling you like the bad sides of something is only to open up your mind and prepare you because people think that abroad is easy abroad is not easy People think that, oh, if I just land, back up, hey, which I'm going to even film a video of the recent update and things like this, things surrounding this. I'm going to film that video right after this one, all right? But just be open-minded and do not think that people are just trying to stop you or people are being negative. So my sister, that said I should snap picture and go back. I'm not going back for now, all right? I hope this video clears the air and prepares us, you know, you want to go into marriage. You want to go into motherhood don't have mentors that show you only the good sides because hey behind those smiles and those kisses <laughs> and how precious babies look is a lot of work a lot of pain hey it's a, when they say it's a journey not be play it's a journey you know and that is why i said come here and film i hope this video helps 
um, someone out, you know, and I hope this video, if you want me to say more things that you need to prepare for, that are not necessarily like the good things, I am here to do all of that gladly for you guys. Thank you so much.